Hi guys. So I am going to do a video um, on how to create a stone wall for um, using texture paste. Let me just, before I get anywhere, let me just get into the thing. All right, just in case. I'm not anticipating many people coming on because this was kind of short notice, but I did, I had a lot of people ask me how I created this stone wall look on my card that I created for um, the latest release, the January 2018 release for Stamp Anything. This image is Charlotte Brush, and it is in the latest release. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I created this look. I'm gonna make a different card, um, but it'll still show the same uh, premise. All right, so um, I use uh, the Texture Paste, uh, Texture Paste Opaque Matte by Ranger. Um, you can get a whole pile of different texture paste, um, but this is the one I like to use. It dries pretty quick, um, so I'm going to use that. I'm also, this is when you want to go through all of your stencils. You don't have to have the same stencil as I have. This one is a Tim Holtz one again by Ranger, or Stampers Anonymous, sorry. And this one is the Stone, um, stone Layering Stencil. But you can use any if you have a brick stencil or anything. Be creative, um, it'll work. So. What I'm going to create is, uh, I'm going to put this stencil down, and I don't want to put it um, all the way to the bottom. I kind of want to, I want to leave it so I can stencil on a little bit of a, a background, or sorry, a ground on here. Hey Lori, hey Jesse, thanks for popping on. So I'm going to kind of offset this so it's slightly raised from the bottom of my um, card front. And I'm, I have it kind of offset because I'm going to put my little image to the left hand side. So I'm just going to tape this down. This is just I just happen to have masking tape here, so there's nothing special about this. So the other thing you're going to want is some sort of tool to apply the texture paste with. I have a palette knife, so I'm just going to use that. And you just want to start off with a small amount and just kind of smear it on. It's fun. You can use, like if you have gift cards, you don't have to have a palette knife, if you have like some gift cards left over from the holiday season, you can use that to smear it on, whatever. I just, I have a palette knife, so I'm gonna use it. So I kind of quickly put it on. I'm not going, I'm not trying to get perfect coverage. I kind of like the look when it's um, kind of breaks away at the edges, if that makes sense. So once you have it on, what I like to do for the stone wall is just kind of pounce my um, palette knife over top just to get some texture. And I hope everybody can hear me okay. Um, and I'm just going to smooth some of those other bits down. All right. All right. And then I'm just going to put the rest back in my jar. Every little bit counts. And close that up. And then if you just remove it, and what you want to do is make sure you wash this right away. This stuff does dry pretty quick. So, but for this purpose, I'm just going to set that aside. But you can see I have um, the beginning of my stone wall. So I'm going to set that aside. I have one that I did a little bit ago, just that it um, could dry. It takes about, I'd say, 10 or 15 minutes to really dry, which isn't bad. Um, so here it is. And my first step I want to do is, I'm gonna grab that um, masking tape again. I am gonna set the floor for my scene. So I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to grab some Distress Ink. I'm going to use um, Black Soot. And I need a scrap piece of paper here. I'm just going to make sure. Get this nice and loaded. Alright, so I'm just going to start 
and I'm going to quickly ink blend this black soot, and this is going to just ground my scene. I'm not doing anything special, just a really quick blending, and then I'm going to lift that up. So we have our floor for our scene, and then I'm going to just place that over top. And let's do the stone wall. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do some different colors than I used the last time. I'm gonna use uh, pumice stone and frayed burlap. Let's see how that turns out. So I'm gonna ink up my ink blender. And I'm just gonna go right over top of the texture paste. And you can see all the little raised pieces where you kind of put, um, took your palette knife and, and squashed it or whatever the word you want to use. It gives a darker um, look. So you're already getting depth and texture. So that was my lighter color. So that was the pumice stone. And next I'm going to go in with frayed burlap. So this will be my darker color. And I'm going to be, just go over, pick some spots, because if you look at brick or stone, it's it varies in color. It's not all flat. And I'm just going to try and build up some texture and color here. I think I might go in with some of the black soot as well. Take a little bit. There. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. This is a really quick te technique, so that one of the reasons why I really love it. Hey Jamie, thanks for joining. All right, so let's peel this off. And so you can see we already have the start of our scene here. So next, what I like to use is, let me just see if I can find one. I'm just gonna grab a pencil, a colored pencil, any color, a dark color for in this case, and I'm just gonna go in between and fill in as if it's grout. So this can take a little bit. I'm going to quickly do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So while I'm doing this, what is everybody up to today? Is anybody doing any crafting or coloring or any of that? It is freezing here. I think we were, yesterday we were at minus 31, where I am. I'm in Ontario, Canada. Uh, Jamie says she's coloring, laying, and Jesse's laying in bed battling a migraine. Oh, that sucks. Hey, Jennifer. Happy belated birthday, by the way. I've got a couple more things I've got to work on today that I want to get done. Hi Tina, minus five and snowing here. Yuck. Uh, Jesse says it was minus 50 for a week now, it's plus three, the weather gets me every time. Yeah. Getting my pen, Laurie's getting her pencils ready for coloring. I think this is probably the most, like coloring in the the grout on the, the stone is probably the most time consuming of this whole technique. It's pretty easy. I've done it a couple of times. I love doing it. I think it adds so much to the scenes. Jamie says, uh, weather endured migraines are horrid. Oh, that's to Jesse.
Yeah, I tend to get bad headaches. I don't I don't think I've ever had a migraine, thank goodness, but um I get really I get some bad headaches um with the barometer change and stuff. Okay, I'm almost done. And I think the key with this is to try and be fairly quick. You don't want to go for perfection. Um I kind of like that sketchy look, like you're just giving the idea of a stone wall. So I don't mind if there's a bit of the white showing between um, the grout. All right, so I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so I'm just going to take this. Uh, Jesse said I was gonna color pretty things. I uh, was gonna do lots today now. I don't wanna sit up and watch. So I'll watch rock walls. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this. Let me just get this thing opened up. My glue it is full. There we go. I just got it open. Now I've got glue all over my fingers. Uh, all right. So I'm just gonna put some glue. I'm just using some Tombow Mono Malty. It's my favorite glue. We'll stick this sucker down. And I'm just putting it on a black border. All right, and then I have an image that I colored a while ago. I'm just going to stick him down. And this, here he is. Uh, Jamie said, crafter issues glue everywhere. Yes, I'm going to be like, it's sort of like when you get um, glitter out and it doesn't matter how careful you are, you're going to be covered in glitter for days. All right, so I'm just gonna apply some foam tape to the back of this guy. I think I colored this guy almost a year ago at one of the coloring classes I was teaching. Stick all that down, he's not going anywhere. All right. Steven, you're a messy crafter. Yeah, you should see my desk right now. Pretty much what you see on uh, the screen right now is about as much clear space as I have on the desk. It's like piled up. I've been working on I think 17 projects this week trying to get them all done. So I just got the sentiment from the set. And I'm gonna apply some glue. All right, let's stick him down. There's that, and I think one more thing I'm going to do, just because, let me see if I can find it, I'm just going to use my splatter tool for, with my distress marker, it's just this thing. And I want to cover, cover him up. And let's just get some splatter on here. And we'll do the same over here. There. So there we go. So that is just like a quick video on how to do the stone wall and just how easy it adds so much um, 
detail and uh, dimension to your card. So I hope that was an okay video and I hope you learned something and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.